So, hello everybody. I am Norma. I'm Spanish. I'm an engineer. I have a PhD, and most important, I am the mother of two wonderful children. My actual position is OFE 3. So, you probably don't know what it means. OFE stays for Office for Executive. So many of you might don't know what it means. Well, I make it simple. I am the assistant advisor right hand of Rolf Nayork, our G3. And I tell you, this is a quite exotic and amazing job. Today, I'm here to tell you the story how I got here and how I managed to be an orphan, a wife, and a mom. And this is in total a 24-7 job. Here in this picture, you can see where my life has taken place. Basically, between two countries, Germany and Spain. I was born in Aachen, Germany, in 1975 to a Spanish family. Generalissimo Franco died when I was nine months, months old, and my parents decided to go back to Spain. There, I studied for being an engineer, just like my father. Many of you might think, well, this is not a typical choice for a young lady. To be honest, when I was 18, I had no idea what I wanted to be. But I liked organizing things and working with people and thought these engineering studies would give me an opportunity in a real company. The first year was very, very, very hard. I managed to pass all the exams, but I wasn't motivated. We were studying a lot. There was no time for socializing and no real application of what we were learning. To keep myself motivated, I joined the board of the students' representation. Within three years, I got the responsibility for 4,000 engineering students. We had to fight in many, in many fights, and we were often criticized by difficult decisions we made. And there, I already learned something. You cannot satisfy everybody. Well, I got a reputation as a fighter for many causes. And I even got my own comic character in the student's new newspaper. <laughs> There's me in different situations. <laughs> At that time, I met, I met Carlos, my husband. In 1998, I took part at an Erasmus exchange program with the University of Aachen. So curiously, I went back to my roots. I graduated in 2000, and I started to apply for jobs in Germany. I wanted a German company with some jobs possibilities in, Sp in Spain, so I picked Bosch and Daimler to send my first applications. I started as a German, German trainee in Stuttgart. I had a 35-hour uh, contract and a lot of free time to fill out, so I started my PhD in a Spanish university. It took me five years of a lot of work and many travels between Germany and Spain. When I was finished when, with the trainee program, I was missing Spain a lot, so I decided to start in a small ED plant close to Barcelona, first as a technical buyer and after two years as a group leader in the logistics. My times in this small plant as a young female leader were very difficult. I had the impression of be working against a very well-established mafia. You had to play their game, favor on favor, and I didn't want it to be part of that. So I cried a lot out of huge frustration. But somehow I got things done. And now I know this experience made me stronger. 2005, I was finished with my PhD. It was a great moment, a great satisfaction for me and for my family, especially for my father, who was the one who encouraged me to do it and supported me during the whole process. It was 2006, and I had learned everything I could for the job. I wanted more. I went to my boss and told him, I need a new challenge. We checked the options, and one year later, I moved to Madrid and started at Atmo, a totally different business area. I thought, well, I have already proven to be a good group leader, so they will accept it like this. No way. I had to start from the beginning again by many questions and more changes. I got after two years the situation more or less under control. And at that time, Carlos and I decided it was time to have a family. Our two children, Julia and Juan, were born in 2009 and 2011. Each time, after a four months maternity leave, I went back to work in a full-time job. So now, let me tell you how I felt. So the four months with the babies were really great, but I got stuck in the routine. Pee, pee, caca, breastfeeding, going for a walk, sleeping, pee, pee, caca again. <laughs> so I was missing Bosch, uh, my colleagues, the other kind of challenges. 
But I thought, OK, how I would manage both? And one thing was certain, we would need some support. So and this is how Olga came to our lives, our loving nanny, with trust, accountability, and new perspectives for their children. It's very difficult for a parent to leave their best treasures in someone else's hands, but we would do it again. And then it was 2011, and I was ready for the next challenge. As there were not many development options for me in Spain, we thought Stuttgart could be an alternative. My husband had a very good shop in Madrid, so we made this deal. I come alone with the kids, see how everything is going, and then we decided what to do. Thank you, Carlos, for that. It was a great possibility for me, for my development, also for the children to learn a new country and a new language, but it was tough. Then I started at Feuerbach, and quite soon I got a very nice German tag. Rabenmutter. <laughs> well, my colleagues were probably right. I was an ambitious woman who had taken their children out of their home country, leaving their husband alone, and I was working a full-time job. But I was convinced of this way of living, and it didn't bother me. This is very interesting. There's no German term for uh, Spanish or English term for Rabenmutter. So Germans, just think about why. No? <laughs> but again, in Stuttgart, we knew we needed some support. Our children were at the Bosch uh, kindergarten in Feuerbach, and we had an au pair girl at home. In Feuerbach, I had to step out forward many times, and I developed myself from consultant to group leader up to head of a department of 80 people in 2015. In the meantime, uh, something very hard happened. My father got ill with leukemia, and even though he got a bone marrow transplant, he ma didn't make it and died in 2016. Being so far away from him and from my mom was very difficult. But at least at that moment, Carlos had already moved to Stuttgart, had learned German for many, many months, and was able to find a job. So our family was together again. And yeah, a couple of years later, again, I was mature for a new challenge. I remember a very intense preparation of an interview with my bosses and the HR business partners, because I had become a specialist, but I wanted to do something different. And this is not that easy at Bosch. I had heard there were jobs as office. Being the assistant of a G gives you a great perspective of the company, of the strategy, of the decision process. It also means a lot of work of reading, summarizing, commenting, writing speeches, preparing professional slides. And as a mother and an, a non-German native speaker, I didn't have much hope. But still, I put this off a position in my list, more or less like a dream. And you already know, I got a job. I started with Mr. Hartun in September last year and with Mr. Nadjork this January. And I have to thank them both for giving me this chance because this last year has been amazing. This offer position is usually done for two, two and a half years, so I think soon I will have to think about the next step. And I am not the one who draw a clear career path and follow it without deviation. No, I just usually know what I don't want, and I am flexible, and it helps. So this is my story so far, and now I would like to send you two different messages. The first one goes to my male colleagues. Listen, and I really mean listen to your wives, your daughters, your female co-workers, your female employees. Give them a chance. They will manage. And the second message goes to the lovely ladies at Bosch, especially if you have a family and a career. Step forward. Show what you can. Don't forget to ask for support and be open to change. You will make it. It was my choice to have a family and to have a career, and I went for it. My final learning, where there is a will, there is always a way. Thank you.